<laughs> okay, let's start recording now. Um, yep. cool. Hi, guys. Welcome to... Hello. It's it's the it's decrepit dinkle casters. You gotta you gotta mention it. Oh, wait, that's right. That's the name of this podcast. Did you um, did you forget? I we've been no. What? It's the decrepit dinkle casters. I remember. I was pretending to forget. Oh, that was hilarious. Oh, thanks. Oh, um, yes, that's amazing. Yeah. Do you have any tiny talk? Oh yeah, right. So I was talking to my wife the other day. Uh, you don't have was... a wife. I I did what I I I I but I but I stop do. imagining you, things. You met her. She's she's a very nice lady. She. You, that time when we cook. met up, you were just like gesturing towards empty air. I literally have no idea what you are talking about to this day. Yeah, well, it's that was my wife. That was my wife, and she is a lovely woman. It's just you have you know, never some understood. Pills would make this better for you, I think. I don't. I don't need pills. I'll. I'll have sex with the pills before I. Whoa. Before I have like before I let my wife go away. I'm not those 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 pills are my enemy. Honestly. You'll have sex with the what? I just what sex? I so it's like this cool like dance move I recently learned from my parents. It's basically when you like you like hump at the ground like very ver like furiously. You don't have parents. Lustful. I what I do. What are you talking? I do have parents. I the well, other day. Well, that one time I, when I came over to your house and you were showing me them, you were literally just gesturing towards empty air. To this well, day, I, I still don't know what you were talking about. You were, you were, you were wearing, you weren't wearing your glasses, man. That's why you couldn't see anything. And I was like, look at them. Like, are you blind? Open your eyes, and you just didn't. You know. I like, can oh, see I you without my glasses. You. Yeah, well, I don't think you can, man. Like every every time you like see something, you're like you point towards it, and like it's just like it's like a signpost or something, man. You're actually blind. You're like actually legally blind. Well, you're actually experiencing major hallucinations, and should probably see a medical a medical professional about it. I'll go to a medical professional when you go to a goddamn optometrist about you needing glasses, man. Optometrist. I, um, term, what? I, What's the difference? I, I'm I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm I hi. Welcome to the decrepit dinkle casters. Oh yeah, welcome. Yeah, welcome. Oh yeah, by the way, we recently just got a new soundboard, by the way. Uh, so now we can play weird sound effects whenever, um, while we're recording these things. So, uh, for example, the, uh, wait, this is the one, it's like the fire truck alarm. Wee woo wee wee woo wee woo yeah, sorry. I've also the... got this one. Uh, yeah, that one, yeah. It's, it was really interesting, yeah. I just, oh yeah, my favorite is the... Is the um, ah, it's let me play it, let me just play it and show you. Yeah, that, that was my favorite, that's my favorite sound effect. Oh, yeah, we also got this, we also got this, um, sound effect of you, of you being all like funny. You're like, I, oh, I that, that's that's my favorite sound effect out of them all. Yeah. I like this one. Yeah, I uh yeah 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 I know that sound yeah that, that I sound also like this one. I was that the sound effect or were you just burping? No, I was just burping. This is the sound oh, effect. Oh. I, I don't, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, man. I don't, I don't actually um, hear anything. Like you, you are playing things, right? Why aren't you saying anything? I think. Uh oh. Okay. 
uh, I'm reading this right now, and it th and um, he's just sent me a text saying that his internet is cut out. So I'll just be I'll just okay. Be my internet's over. back on. Hi. Um, sorry about oh, okay. that. Uh, my okay, internet good. cut out because I cut the wires, but then I just reconnected them, so it's okay. Anyway, uh, what? Uh, um. Well, the interesting thing that have that's been happening in my life recently, I got a. I I, no, I didn't. I shouldn't lie to the camera, to the to the to the to the to the microphone, to the. Yeah, I. Yeah. Would lie to our fans. Come on, spit it out, man! Spit it out! Spit it out! Yeah, yeah! I spit it out! Have been. Yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah, you've been. You've been. Where have you been? Yeah. 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 <clears throat> I have the perfect sound effect for this on my soundboard. Um, Me too. That was the sound effect, by the way. My, <laughs> I, the sound effect which I'd play would be uh, this one. You, that, you know, that... I, um, you, anyways, on to today's topic, by the way, we're gonna, we're gonna be talking about foods, so I, I love my foods, I, I love foods, don't I'm you? I'm a human, I eat food, that's a good topic. Yeah, yeah I know, right? Whoever came up with, with it, me, it was really smart, uh, so I eat food, what's your opinion on, um, on food. tomatoes? I like food. That's... Well, yeah, uh, I, 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 I think that. it's pronounced tomatoes. No, what? I it doesn't matter, dude. It it's just okay. Then how do you pronounce bananas? Bananas. <laughs> That's so. <laughs> I know for a fact that you do. I've never met anybody who pronounced them like that. Uh, they are not pronounced bananas. What do you mean? Okay, this morning for breakfast, uh, I didn't have any cereal, so I ate an apple and a banana. You, I have several questions. You just ate an apple, like, like you, and that's oh, not no, no, how no. you. The banana pronounce... first, and then the apple. No, but why would you eat the banana? Why would you eat that? That's not a. That's not a breakfast. Hey, you can't eat that. Uh, well, it was a good banana. That's not how and you say banana. Be, you can't. To be honest, to be honest, the apple like was that. pretty. It it felt. Like, it was simultaneously not ripe enough and too ripe at the same time. I don't know. It was, like, all crunchy and stuff, but then it also had the taste of the, that it was, like, slightly off. I don't know. That was oh, a weird yeah, apple. Man. But the banana was good. Stop, stop calling it that, man. I'm gonna... Anyway, uh, the... you asked what my opinion on a tomato is. Oh, yeah, yeah, those, those things. Tomato. Tomatoes, they're really good, actually. They're, they're really versatile. I love them... <laughs> No, I don't know. Actually, I have a love-hate um, relationship with tomatoes. They tomatoes, tomatoes. tomatoes. I have a love-hate relationship with tomatoes. They, they like, uh, they they're so good in some scenarios, and then just absolutely suck in others. Like, okay, but tomato like sauce. What? Right? I, a tomato sauce is good, right? Yes, but, I like, agree. I don't know, tomatoes on burgers just kind of, like, hurt me, like... No, you did not just say that! You didn't just what? say that! What do you- what do you need? Do you like tomatoes on yes, your burgers? Yes, tomatoes in burgers are really good. Like, legitimately. <laughs> I- okay, to be honest, I legitimately did not think we'd reach a disagreement this soon into the talking about food. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Seriously? No. Don't you tomatoes actually... in burgers are great. I love them. I'm so I, I like said that I kinda have was... a, it's hard to have a burger without I... tomatoes in it. That was like I, I said an opinion that I thought was like moderately agreeable among most people. Are you No that... What? Who are you kidding me? Who else doesn't like tomatoes uh, in their burgers. Everybody. They're nice. I like tomatoes. Tomatoes and tomatoes in your burgers just suck. Tomatoes oh, are just the same. 
It's like putting, it's, you just taste, you, if you put a tomato in your burger, it's just in the way. You don't actually like it in there. It's no, just in the what way do everything. you mean? It's like what one of the mean? highlights of the burger. It's not the highlight of the burger. I'll admit that. Like, the highlight of the burger is probably, like, your, your patties, your, like, sauces, your, like, uh... Like be if you have beetroot in a burger, that's really nice. The, that that makes it kind of a highlight in my opinion. Tomatoes, yeah. not it's up there, but it's not up there with like those no. in terms of no. the things no, 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 with no. The, in the burger. But I still is, really like tomatoes in burgers. That is, that is what? And every ingredient what matters. Okay? No, some ingredients is, don't matter. Like, uh, like what? Tom it's a, it's, what? You just don't like tomatoes, do you? You just I don't just, like them. I just no. It's just oh my god. I'm sorry, man. In your bur tomato in your burger, they just it just will not taste nice. It does not mix very How? well. It mixes the so perfectly fine. The, the texture, texture, the texture is, is fine. It actually no, adds no. a little bit of like a nice softness to the burger, which is great because of your other crunchy ingredients like your lettuce, your carrots, your cucumbers. Like you don't want a burger to just be entirely crunch. You need some gush in there. I don't. Yeah, but that's gross. It's just no, makes but it, all it tastes so lucky. good. No, it doesn't. Tomatoes do not even taste good in burgers. They do not fit tomato sauce. That's fine. Tomatoes yeah. themselves, they just don't aren't good. No, they just give no, this no, no, awful no, 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 like feeling. They no, just give they this taste awful great. Feeling. I love them in burgers. Like it's not a complete burger without a tomato. And like if what there's like no tomatoes about? available, then I'm like, ah, oh, I'm kind of disappointed. Oh well. Are you kidding me? If there's no tomatoes available, I will literally rejoice. Tom tomatoes literally ruin a burger. If I'm eating a burger, right? It's like a gourmet burger from like a restaurant. I will literally take out tomatoes in it. I have done you, that before. You and I will psychopath! Again. Wait, what? <laughs> yes, I've been to. What you, you know, I've known about? you for a while, but I never knew you were this much of a psycho. Jesus Christ! I'm, no, I just never known. I've been friends with. Okay, like, what such ingredients a do you like in a burger? What ingredients do you like in the burger? Name well, your perfect I, burger. <laughs> Perfect burger would have extra pickles in it. That's that would no, be. No, name every ingredient in your perfect burger. Uh, okay, Go. okay, okay. Lettuce, cheese, t onions, no tomato, tomato. Fuck you. I, I no. We're not doing that. Uh, onions, and then I'll put uh, onions are fine, but I, I prefer cooked onions rather than raw onions. Raw onions okay, have always tasted I, a little weird I, to I me. Can, I can but agree. I love actually, onions. yeah. The onions are much, much better. There we yeah, go. There's I an agreeable think. opinion. Anyway, carry yeah, on. It's like, um, I put cheese. Make sure it's brioche buns. I prefer brioche buns. And sesame seeds, meh. They're meh. I don't really taste them, and the texture is kind of bad, but they're meh. Fair enough. And I don't like... really care whether or not I have sesame seeds or not. Um, yeah. Okay, I'll name my there. perfect burger. <laughs> okay, so... To be honest, if it's a perfect burger, the bun's got to be homemade, man. Homemade yeah. that shit. Okay, and then sauces. We want mayonnaise. We want um, seed mustard. Seed I love mustard. seed mustard. It's really so good. You wait, you mean you mean like just the seeds or like? No, 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 no. Like you know those mustard where it's like it's got the mustard sauce, but it's also got mustard seeds in it, and it's like kind of different. It has a different taste than like American mustard. It's really nice. I like it. Oh, I haven't actually tried that. I haven't tried that. Right. Oh yeah, it's, it's nice. It's nice. Uh, then we have your, the tomato sauce or ketchup or whatever we have. Probably tomato sauce. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, then. Important sriracha. I fucking oh, love sriracha. You're one of you're one of those people. You're one of those people who like sriracha in their burgers. It's so good. I, I'm not a big fan of sriracha sauce in oh, general. this is your second I'm controversial not, opinion from. I love sriracha. It's so good. No, dude. Sriracha, I just, sriracha just... actively saves bad burgers sometimes. Like sometimes, like I get like a burger from a fish and chips shop, and it's mid as fuck. But then if if we have 
sriracha available. I just put that in there, and it's fucking great. And no, man. Also, I just, uh, this I might know. just this might just be a New Zealand thing, but if you don't have a sriracha, then Kaitaya Fire is another great hot sauce which I like putting in, but it's not as oh. good as sriracha. But my, my I don't know if there's. I don't know if there's Kaitaya fire outside of New Zealand, so, uh, yeah. I don't know, my brother always puts some weird ass, like, um, what is it? It's weird, this weird Chinese brand with, like, this guy who, with, like, a flaming mouth on him, and sometimes oh, yeah. has a turkey on him. I don't know, there's all kinds of sriracha sauce brands. I don't like sriracha sauce, it's just... It, okay. It, it just, it's just, like, uh... Here's the thing about um, sriracha sauce. Some of it... It, big, okay, the guy who made sriracha, I'm pretty sure the story was that he didn't patent it. So, uh, don't quote me on that. But other companies started using like sriracha as a name, but used different recipes from the guy. And instead of suing them, he just let it slide because he was like, my hot sauce is so good that people will just know to buy mine because it's better. They'll go out of business on their own. I'm not suing them. But that also leads to countless other off-brand sriracha which are just called sriracha and you don't know uh, and oh, some yeah. of those are actually really mid but I, I know but i've had like actual like actual sriracha and it's the fucking bomb it's so good i <laughs> mean some of I'm them really not, are mid i'm just not really a big fan a fan of like spicy things in general like what about you like Spice I, is I just love like, spice. I love I spice. I don't know, man. I'm not a masochist. I prefer it when it's I don't masochism. feel like It's not masochism. It's enhancing flavor. And you just feel pain. It's literally just pain. It's not pain. pain. It's nice pain. It's, it's, it's just like, pain. It's not like... you. Do you like sour things? Do you also... like? Do you hate sour things? I don't hate sour things, but like, I don't really necessarily minty love them. Things. Minty things. Oh, mints are so nice. I love mints. Yeah, it's like that, man. It's like that. I, yeah, but, but with I don't like, know. It's, it's sharper. It's sharper and I'm, it's different. But oh, sharper. I love that's spice weird. and like chilies. I don't and, know. It's so good. It's like spice is just like it's it's just ouch. It's just man. Painful. I haven't even I, gotten past the sauces in my perfect burger yet. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much just because you I think it's just because you have bad taste, honestly. I think you just you're the one time. who has bad taste because you can't even handle sriracha and you don't have the balls to put a tomato in your burger. Jesus Christ. Well, that's because I am mentally insane, unlike you. you I don't are like mentally stuff. insane though. <laughs> you are I'm, no, I'm mentally sane. Literally, like if me. we go back to you're the literally... small talk, what were you saying about yourself that you have parents and a uh, wife Pfft, i've I never do seen have them parents and i do have my wife they're real Just, no you know, you know, no you're delusional fucking, you're so delusional you know, that you <laughs> put tomatoes out of your burger you take them out no anyway no, no. let me I'm, just listen, shut the I'm fuck up delusion shut, shut, shut up. the fuck no, up you shut up no, i'm not, I'm not shutting up you're shutting tomatoes. up <laughs> i'm not like a man who has tomatoes in his burger talk over me okay this is I'm simply inexcusable Tomatoes tomato. I just dislike her. <laughs> Talk over me. <laughs> okay, um. let and I was the one who was talking about my perfect burger. You said yours. I'll talk about my perfect burger. And you know what? We've gotten past the sauces. So let's get to the fillings. Number one, tomato. Uh. Tomato. <laughs> Okay, let's keep going. Lettuce. We've okay. got cucumbers. Pickles. I love pickles. You, we put the pickles in. A lot yeah, of pickles. Yeah. Don't, no, don't be like McDonald's and put like one. Like smother that entire like side with pickles, man. I love pickles. Uh, yeah. Beetroot. I like beetroot. That is. A that was an odd one, but I have eaten a beetroot burger before. It is it is quite exquisite. When you do it correctly, it is quite yeah, exquisite. Yeah. It, it's amazing. It's yeah, just that usually when like, you put them in, your burger gets so like dribbly and like it kind of drips down the sides. So, but yeah. that's worth it for the taste. So it's okay. 
Like, you have to have a good puree. Uh, I like raw beetroot in it as well, but, like, usually raw beetroot is accompanied by I'm some sort sure. of sweet puree. I don't think I've had, like, a pure, like, raw beetroot, like, just cut up the actual beetroot. It's always, like, the stuff that's in, like, the can or whatever. Like, with the yeah, sauce yeah. or puree, I guess. Yeah, because, like, I mean, raw beetroot itself is actually pretty good, but, like, I think an yeah, added, a little it. bit of added, you haven't? Yeah, I don't, like, I don't, I don't think I have. I've just got, like, the, the stuff in the can, man. But it's nice. I mean, raw beetroot is actually pretty good. I wouldn't okay. eat it by itself, would you think, but, like... Would that yeah. be a best food? We haven't even gotten best past food. burgers yet. <laughs> well, let, let me just speed... Let's, let's speed run the rest of it. Okay, uh, beef patty. Uh, what else? I like carrots. I like jalapenos. Wait, what I did like... you say? Carrots? 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 I'm sorry. What? Yes, carrots. This is a normal you thing can... to put in a burger. No, no, it's not. This is actually like <laughs> mental asylum behavior. You what? add the fucking orange, like, like orange shit into that your burger. You... On the okay, daily hold on a second. I'm... Hold on a second. Yeah. Are you saying what I think you're saying? I'm saying no. I you saying what I think you're saying. No, 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 you no. Do you psychopath. do you not like raw carrots? I no. It's not that I don't. I, it's not that I hate raw carrots. But you put them in your goddamn burgers. Like what the yeah, hell? Yeah, grated <laughs> carrot. It's do good. I, I like it. I just they don't belong on burgers, dude. I don't mean to be vegetableacious, but like that's. <laughs> That's no, that's wrong. You don't put carrots on a burger. Carrots what? have a place. What's wrong with putting carrots on your burger? They just carrots won't taste are nice. good. No, no, no. Usually I have like at least three max vegetables and fruits. Well, or okay, on I, my I, okay. Maybe I mean, I love just putting as many things in my burgers as I like because I, I, I just want them to be like a good flavorful experience with lots of different textures and lots of different nice veggies uh also i forgot to mention cheese cheese gets melted on top of the patty for sure uh oh i, I love think cheese. my internet just cut out again oh what the fuck oh uh, never mind us back and well i was <laughs> recording so uh whatever <laughs> Yeah, no, it's fine. It's back. It's <laughs> okay. Okay, as I was saying, as I was saying, I like my um, burgers to be really nice and full of like as many little vegetables and shit as I can because I just like all the f different flavors combining and all the different textures combining. You just you just get too many flavors though, like actually too. It's many. not too many. It's perfect. I, then what I, I mean, I've just always been the kind of person where if there's, like, something where you make something with lots of ingredients laid out in front of you, like a taco, a burger, whatever, I just try to put as many of the things in it as I can from, like, all the different things. Uh, yeah, you're like the, unless it's something which I don't like. Are you, like, the type of person at Subway who, like, fucking puts literally, who asks literally everything in their burger? Like I probably <laughs> would be if I had... I don't know. I I've had Subway once and it was mid. So <laughs> I, yeah, I agree. Honestly, out of all the fast food restaurants that you could get from, it's not bad per se, but it's also not good either. Like, it's it's really complicated for some I don't reason. Know. I've been there once. I'm not qualified to talk about it. Uh, I'm qualified, and it's honestly quite boring. I wouldn't go there again. It's just sandwich, man. You can make a sandwich at home. I mean, the ingredients they use are good, and it's better than your average sandwich made at home, I guess. But like, I guess it, at the I mean, same maybe time, I should it's go there, but because like you get to choose what's in it. So I guess, but you know, you can also do that at home, and probably yeah, for a lot just, cheaper. <laughs> you can just make a sandwich at home, especially with like the cost of living nowadays. I wouldn't see myself wanting to buy a sandwich. Sandwiches are probably the yeah. most simplest things you could make. So why buy one? Even when I'm lazy as shit, I make sandwiches. Yeah, if we have sandwich, bread. <laughs> if, we... if we have bread, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Sometimes I, I, I we hate... don't, so it's just like ramen. 
<laughs> you know, if it's um, if it's goddamn anything but grain bread, then I will literally die. I will. I refuse to eat. I mean, plain grain bread. bread is better, but white bread, I think, has its place. It, white bread is better for toast, but grain bread makes so much better sandwiches. No, I just think grain bread is better on literally every situation possible. I cannot eat plain bread because it just tastes so plain i bite into it and i don't know what to expect like it's like a I'm maybe this bread. is like part of where we differ because if i'm making a sandwich with, with like white bread I, I like putting lots of things into my sandwiches as i say or say so maybe that just counteracts it but grain uh, bread maybe. is better for sandwiches so i don't know even <laughs> in my more complicated sandwiches i just love the grains and also i, mean, I like yeah eating. i agree you know, I, I like eating knowing yeah, that it's a bit more healthy, you know? Yeah, your tomato sandwiches. <laughs> yeah, see how he's silent? It means I've won. Damn, did my internet just cut out again? So, you ever just, oh. like, oh. eating your pizza, right? And then it's just, like... It's it's oh. just kind of mid, you know? Like, that's... Have you ever done that, man? Yeah, sometimes, like, I get a pizza from the good old Pizza Hut, and uh, I'm like, man, this pizza's mid as fuck, man. I, yeah, man. Yeah. I'm telling you, well, well, luckily we've got a solution for you. Giovanni's Pizza is sponsoring decrepit Dimkel Casters today, and they make such the, the most unique pizzas around man i'm wow, telling you tell me more yeah so it, it's like this really weird new it's like this they put cheese on like noodles right it's like this noodle type pasta based right it's still pizza somehow but you know it's it it's very they put some weird tomato things on it sometimes meatballs which is strange wow and then like yeah i know right that's giovanni's pizza is crazy God. You know, that sounds like a much better alternative to pizza. I mean, it is pizza, of course. I mean, I'm talking yeah. about a be better alternative to mid-pizza, but that sounds like a great pizza. Is there anything yeah. else special about it? Oh, they, it's like, it tastes very Italian, but I guess pizza is Italian, you know? <laughs> it is Italian, yes. And the best yeah. pizzas should taste Italian. Well, it is very Italian tasting. It has this weird stringy pasta combined with it sometimes that just creates this glorious, like, tomato-y, cheesy combination of, like, the flavor. And it's amazing. It's it's really authentic Italian pizza that, that really brings out the Giovanni in my pizza, you know? Okay, hold on. Someone's calling me. Okay, let me answer. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, are you saying that I can get Giovanni's Pizza at www.giovannispizza.com slash decrepit dinklecasters to get 50% off my next Giovanni's Pizza order? Oh my god, that sounds like Whoa. a great deal. I should take that. Yeah, can you repeat the, um, the URL one more time for fans? No! Anyway, thank you, Giovanni's Pizza, for sponsoring this episode of Decrepit Dinklecasters. We'll get yep, back to the video you. now. Uh, so, your internet's back? Oh yeah, my internet's back. Sorry. So, uh, some my pet rat, Jeremy, was eating on the wires again. Okay. I had to put him down for that. Fair enough. Okay, let's, uh, let's keep talking about food. So that was burgers done. Uh, yeah. let's get into something else, like, uh, spaghetti. spaghetti. Do you also not put tomatoes in your spaghetti? Do you? <laughs> okay, I'm not, I'm not, I don't belong in a mental asylum, despite of what you've heard. I do put a lot of tomatoes in my spaghetti, and as in all Italian dishes especially, actually. If you don't add tomatoes to your Italian dishes, you're just weird, like... That's tomatoes are the main ingredient, you know. Yeah, like I agree. I mean, there is also like um, <clears throat> there's like white sauce pasta. That what the white sauce pasta? White you so sure you it's not as just... good as like the like red sauce ones with like tomatoes. I, I don't uh, like it wait. as much. 
I mean, you know, you mean by white sauce, do you mean like the cheese sauce that like has like rooks and stuff, roux and stuff in it? I, roux? I'm actually like, not sure what you know, that is. Oh, I like this cooking thickener used for pasta. Oh, uh, no, I but think like, it's that, though. I think it's that. Usually I, I just use both, like, red sauce and white sauce in my in my huh. pasta, you know? Like, right. it's usually both. Because, <laughs> I mean, you can put just one, but, like, it, just one, just white sauce by itself with pasta, like, kind of sucks I ass. mean, it's... It I, don't, I wouldn't say it sucks ass, but I definitely prefer red sauce. Anyway, what meat do you like in your spaghetti? Well, I mean, meatballs are okay, but like sometimes just minced meat with minced beef is just yeah. the best. I don't know how... I don't think I've had like pasta or spaghetti with like meatballs more than on like any occasion which I can count on. I don't... I think... I think... I could count the amount of times I've had meatball pizza on one hand. M pizza? Spaghetti. Fuck. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, honestly, meatball pizza, meatball spaghetti is just kind of overrated. It's it's just annoying to, like, single apart those, like, small, tiny balls of meat. And also, they don't really... When you try to get a bite out of it, if the pizza, I mean, the spaghetti and the meat is both separated so it's you don't actually get to taste both of them combined it's not the best i guess right. but if I you mean, want to you can in terms of meat i i often times it's either a uh, minced beef or like pork in my um pizza i mean spaghetti and i, I definitely prefer beef i think it's a lot wow, better wait what pork damn i have never had um any pork in my pasta before. Not as good, I'm, I'll tell you. Not as good. Yeah, I could probably, like, assume, because, like, um, it's, pork is really fatty compared to beef. It's, like, more, yeah. it, it's more suited to, like, more American dishes than Italian, I'd say, because, uh, it's very savory, honestly. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Beef is definitely oh. better in, uh, pastas and spaghettis. Uh, anyway, yeah. uh, let's Although, move on. I don't on. mind. It's I, I should try it. I guess one day that'd be okay. interesting. We're let's move. We've covered some savory dishes. Let's move on to a sweet thing. Um, desserts. What What are some mm. desserts that you like? I mean, usually I don't have dessert, but like you don't you know. like no no, you, no no no. It's just dinner, what? and that's it. It's just I mean, you need something to, like, cleanse your palate after dinner, especially after s spicy food. Spicy? No. Like, uh -uh. like, you know, like, it's like, I don't know, like, if I have something, right, and the taste still stays with me after I eat it, like, I usually have some dessert or something, so, like, cleanse my palate and, like, I don't know, just to get, I have a little sweet tooth, you know? I mean, sometimes I'll, like, have, like, a piece of chocolate or something i love chocolate oh chocolate's good i mean although i gotta say chocolate is probably the most generic and boring dessert you could have it's just sugar in a uh, capsule at some point i guess like, out of all the desserts you can have something like a pie or like i don't know some really good pie. baked pastry i that's like don't i mean okay i don't know if i've actually had that many sweet pies like when i think of pie i think a nice hefty meat pie what? I, don't really th I, for, some, I often forget that sweet pies are a thing but also like apple pies like right. you're missing uh, apple out. Pie, it, it's either a meat pie or it's an apple pie with me i think apple pies yeah apple pies are like basically the bread and butter of sweet pastry pie yeah. they're really it's good. a burger and but... tomato you could say I a burger. I, I don't recall putting tomatoes <laughs> in my burgers, actually. I don't know, man. I don't recall putting any tomatoes. Well, anyways, anyway, back uh, on topic. Back on track. You gotta, you gotta put a lot of fruits into your pies. Like, you're really missing out if you haven't tried any sweet oh, pastry no, I pies. I don't homemade pies. <laughs> I don't you don't i mean they're I really get, easy I get, like, I get them from the bakery man i, I don't know what i mean like you know 
Eyes are literally like to just a way not to much stuff. of a baker. That's that's why I was talking about like fucking burgers earlier, <laughs> or like I mean, sandwiches. Because sandwiches are the things I, I can make a sandwich. But I mean, what everybody and their dead goose could make a sandwich. Yeah, it's I know. Like, a dead goose. What? <laughs> my dead goose named Jeremy. I miss him. But oh, okay. you know, we still like. You should at least try baking a pie one day. Historically, I probably pies should. Were just, I like, probably should. Um, in terms know, of desserts, an apple crumble is really nice. Okay. Crumbles are good. I love yeah, crumbles. crumbles. I mean, just anything crumble really. It could be like a Fijoa crumble. It could be like a. Pear crumble. Have I had a pear oh, crumble? Okay. I'm not sure, but it sounds good. So. I, I want to have a pear crumble. Out of all of my favorite fruits, especially those to put in a crumble, I would say pear is one of them. Mm. Oh, rhubarb, also great. Oh, rhubarb. I fucking love rhubarb. I would snort up rhubarb like it's cocaine. I yeah. love that and shit. And tomato. No, we don't <laughs> no, do I'm, that. I'm, I'm fucking with you, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, if you- I would literally- I would stop talking to you right now and leave this voice call if you talked about tomato crumble and you actually ate it. I would unironically, like, throw up in disgust. That is- <laughs> I mean, no, it doesn't oh, oh sound good. God. Anyway, um, other desserts. I mean, okay, chocolate. Like, if we go back to chocolate, what is your favorite chocolate? I don't know, man. I'm actually just like, and I don't actually like chocolate too much, to be honest. It's good. I don't. No, 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 no. I don't. Don't get me wrong here. I don't. I don't actually hate chocolate, right? I do like chocolate. If I see chocolate, if I see like a, if I see like a fishing hook and then like a chocolate dangling dangling from it, I would also like you know grab that chocolate. But I just, it's. Out of all the desserts I could have, it's just like chocolate. It's I, it just feels kind of disappointing. I mean, you know? man, to be fair, I don't often have desserts, so if I feel like something sweet after dinner, I do just grab a chocolate. Anyway, my favorite chocolate though is, I think it has to be dark almond. Dark? Seriously? Yeah, dark You're chocolate like... with almond in it. I I actually. I'm not usually a massive fan of dark chocolate, but but when there's almond in it, it makes it different, okay? Dark almond is so good that I think it might just have to... I think it goes right above hazelnut as, like, my favorite chocolate. I'm gonna be honest, man. I don't even like nuts in my chocolate. Really? I, yeah, no, I just, love nuts. Nuts are so good. I do like I have nuts, nuts like by almost every day. But, yeah, I, I like nuts by themselves, but inside of chocolate, it just doesn't sit right with me. Because when I'm eating a chocolate, I don't know if this is just a me thing, but I just shove it in my mouth and like dissolve it with my saliva until it's like done. And then if Wait, I'm with having nuts nut chocolate, or with chocolate. No, with any chocolate, but with like chocolate. when okay. I have I when mean, I have nutty chocolate, it's just kind of like you know. I like my. Uh, do you have your chocolate like room temperature? Uh, yeah, usually. Why? Oh, no, I always I I put my chocolate in the fridge because I really like the coldness and the I like don't. nice crunch. I like crunching the chocolate. Really, and I don't really. More of it's not really the and crunchy a part. Just isn't me, honestly. I love the cr. I I just love crunchy foods. Crunchy foods are like usually better than um non crunchy foods for me. I mean, yeah, but chocolate isn't really what you'd call crunchy. It's just kind of. It like, is for me, okay. I put those chocolate in the fridge, and so that I, it can get more crunchy, okay. And it's cold because it just and it's to the point where it just feels weird eating room temperature chocolate now because it should have it should be nice and crisp. It should have I mean, like that nice crisp crunch to it as you bite in, and you're like, oh, chocolate. But room temperature chocolate also has that same feeling. Oh, no, room temperature chocolate is sometimes it's just like you bite into it and you just like, numb. Well, this tastes pretty good, but I wish it was colder. I don't wish it was colder, man. You're, I think you're just strange. Most people 
prefer their chopped well, burgers. Well, I think you're strange because most people put tomatoes in their burgers. <laughs> you want to get back into this, huh? You want to? Uh, get... No, 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 no. It was just an offhand comment. Where? Not... Okay, okay. Yeah, let's just move on. Let's move on. No more desserts. All right. Um, all right. let's go. Do you? Here's a question. By Actually, the way. we're running out do of time you... on the episode. Let's just do one more thing. Um, all right. All right. Vegetables. Vegetables. I don't know. Most vegetables also, are good. I'm not. Would I'm you not consider picky. a tomato to be a fruit or a vegetable? I mean, this one isn't even like subjective, right? Like, it's yeah, not just. But I'm just. It's a stupid test. Is a tomato a fruit or a vegetable? I. It's kind of a. It's a fruit, if I recall. I grew tomatoes yes, in my backyard. Yes, it's a fruit. Now, yeah, second okay. question. This one's easier. Does a tomato belong in a burger? <laughs> okay, let's move on. Let's move on. Uh, what, I, well, what other I, that wasn't even a vegetable. What other vegetables can we talk about? Like, um, I have a question for you. I have a question yes. for you, man. So, do you think pumpkins are a fruit or a vegetable? Oh fuck! I haven't thought about that. I mean, I. No, they do grow above ground, and they do have seeds in them. A lot of so, vegetables do that, though. So, are they? What defines a fruit? Wait. You're, okay, I'll tell you the text. If that's definition. my def if that's my definition of a fruit, then a pumpkin's a fruit. But it doesn't feel quite right calling it a fruit. Well, you're right. Pumpkins are a fruit. A fruit is a, fl a um a fruit is something that comes out of the flowering part of a plant, basically. So if it uh -huh. grows inside of the ground like a potato, then it's a vegetable. Otherwise, it's a fruit. So like you know, there's also berries, and berries are technically fruit or something. I don't really know. It's yes. complicated, you know. Okay. Um. I also, what is your opinion on pumpkins? I like pumpkins. Pumpkins, they're good when done right. If you fuck up your pumpkins, you have sinned, and also they just taste like nothing. But if you do them correctly, yes, yeah. they taste like pumpkins. I mean, like, most things, really... if you fuck them up, they're bad, so that's kind of in the name. Yeah, but if you fuck up pumpkins, you've really fucked up, because pumpkins are pretty hard to fuck up, yet I've tasted fucked up pumpkins, and they are fucked up, yeah, man. I'm not sure if I've tasted fucked up pumpkins before. You, If I'm tasting something with pumpkin, it's usually, like, really nice. Oh, I love pumpkins in, like, vegetarian patties for, like, burgers. Oh, I've Pump never had a pumpkin, vegetarian patty. Pumpkin and, like, bean? That is so good. I... I... I mean, can I, it beat a good old beef patty? I'm not sure, but, like, it's really good. Why have you eaten a vegetarian patty? Are you vegetarian? Because they're nice? I'm not... I've been talking about eating meat for, like, the majority of this video. I'm not vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course you're not. So then why would you eat a vegetarian patty? Because maybe we didn't have beef at that time, okay? And maybe vegetarian patties are just good. <laughs> Because they actually well, really are. Are they? I mean, it just like it just kind of tastes like I'm eating. I don't know if you mean like store bought patties, the no, vegetarian not store -bought. or like no, not store bought. Yeah, yeah. Because those just feel like they're trying to compensate for the fact that they're not meat, which is not good. Whereas they shouldn't be tasting like meat. They should be tasting like beans. Yeah, I also agree. Honestly, but also be but, like kind of crunchy, and that's but, like, really the good. Ones the ones that try to taste like meat just ended up end up tasting like much much worse than meat would have because I'm not sure they I've try to mimic the taste. I have because I think my mom accidentally bought one that was accident that was actually not meat while well, she thought it was because oh I love deceptive advertising so uh, it, it, so we we tasted it. it just tasted like a, it just tasted ninety percent like soy and like. 10% like a lot of meat flavoring. It was a really bad cope for the fact that it was not meat, basically. Yeah, it sounds bad. Anyway, do you want to wrap up the episode here? Wrap up? I that's think also, this, that's... Is, this is our longest one yet, I think. Really? I mean, I am quite a foodie myself, and wraps. You know, wraps are a type of food. Wraps. 
yeah so just like rap. a rap we're gonna rap this up yeah. so uh no i'm not gonna do an actual rap that would be stupid <laughs> yeah that would be he wouldn't be that wouldn't be a good way to wrap it up yeah yeah <laughs> did you get it i get it so anyways where's we're decrepit and we'll dinkle cast you later <laughs>